Good afternoon, all. I have no idea how well this stream is going to go. As today, I am going to be attempting to use Blender. Which is, for those of you who don't know, a 3D animation software. But the main catch is... I've never used Blender before. I have only ever looked at it and installed it a couple times and then tried to use it and then not. But today, I actually have a reason to be using it. So I'm going to try my best today, along with you guys, to learn how to use Premiere, Premiere Blender. Today I'm going to be learning along with you guys how to use Blender. Now, there is a manual here. Blender website. I think I'm going to need the manual. Now, oh, hang on, I want to I want to open it in an incognito window so I don't accidentally dox myself cuz <laughs> That's the last thing I want. Okay. So here we have. Yeah, there we go. I can see the chat now. So here we have the Blender manual. If I full screen it here. Getting started. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting started. Okay. So introduction. Welcome to Blender. Blender. Is, yeah, I know. How do I use it? Why use Blender? Now I've already decided I'm going to use Blender. Tell me how to use it. Blender is a fully integrated 3D content. I know what it is. Now tell me how to use it. I've already decided I'm going to use it. How do I use it? Okay. Introduction. Here we go. Introduction to Blender. After starting Blender and closing the splash screen, the Blender window should look something similar to the image below, as Blender's user interface is consistent across all platforms. Okay, so I, I'm just going to pick general. I don't know. I don't know which one of these I want, but I'm going to pick general. Hey, look! It looks like that. Nice. What is it? What does it say next? Blender's interface is separated into three main parts. The top bar at the very top. Whoa, the top bar's at the top. Who would have guessed that? Not me. Totally. Areas in the middle and the status bar at the bottom. Okay, so we've got status bar. We've got areas and the top bar. Interesting, interesting. Customization Blender also makes heavy use of keyboard shortcuts to speed up the work. These can also be customized in the key map editor. Good to know. Now, how do I use any of these things? That's what I. I want to know splash screen. Yeah, okay. Top bar. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, just just kinda of tell me how to use it, okay? Just just say like, oh this is a cube that you can You can move, you can move the camera around. Whoa. Funky. How do I move this cube? Move. Oh yeah, I can move the cube. Let's go, we discovered how to move the cube. So today, my aim 
for this stream is to try and make a bedroom set thing. So we're gonna first start off with um the floor and the walls and then put things inside the room that are hopefully somewhat bedroom related and I presume this is the light this is the camera and this is the cube how do I how do I change the size of the cube Oh, I can zoom in and out as well. Okay, is that like a scale? Oh yeah, look at that! I can scale the cube. I'm gonna make it thin like that. How big do we want this room? We don't want it too big. Maybe like this big. Very good. Very good room size. I'd say so. Now we need some walls for this room. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take the cube. Actually we'll we'll rename the cube. Floor floor It's the floor the floor and then I want to duplicate the floor. The floor. No, I mean I want to call it wall one over here. Can I? Okay. Now I want to rotate the wall exactly ninety degrees. There we go. And then put it at the edge. Oh. Like so. There we go. We've got a wall. And we can copy the wall. Call it wall two. Rotate that. Another ninety degrees. Move it backwards. This isn't going to be like perfect. As I said, this is just me trying to use the software for the first time ever. Well there we go, we've got what looks like kind of a a set almost. I think that's what I'm going to try and do is make kind of a a set, you know, rather than a fully enclosed room with four walls. We're going to have two walls. Now these walls are a bit tall, so I'm going to scale them. Oh no, it scales from the middle. How do I make it scale from the the bottom? Um, what does transform do? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, we don't want to transform it. That's just going to be confusing. Uh, how did I like? How do I just like free move around? Apart from being looking at this point, and can I? Oh, can I move the camera? Oh, that's not moving the camera. Oh, it's still on scale. I want to move the camera somewhere over here. I think just looking into into the room. I kind of want it like down here though. Can I just like move it? 
Yes, here we go. Move the camera. Then maybe move it closer. And then rotate. There we go. Cool. So that's the kind of viewing angle we're going to get. Do we want the corner in the shot? I'd say we want the corner in the shot. It's going to be kind of like, yeah, kind of like the looking this way. Okay. Okay. Again, YouTube's doing that thing where it's telling me the audio bit rate is below zero or whatever. I never know what that means. <laughs> I I don't think my bitrate settings in Yeah, my audio bitrate is 320. So I don't know what it's complaining about, but it does that like every stream, so I'm going to ignore it like I do every stream. Okay, so now we have a room. Uh, I'm going to put a ceiling on the room. Call it ceiling. There we go. And then we can move that up to about, I'll say like there, I'd say, that's a fair, that's a fair ceiling, and then we probably want to put the, put the light, probably going to put some sort of light in the middle of the room, so I'm going to put the light source in the middle of the room okay we have our room how do i see the camera's like pov i don't know i'm just gonna guess <laughs> how that or is it like one of these like rendering is this what the Is this what the camera sees? At the moment it just kind of seems nothing. Yo, it's the EV render engine. That's pretty cool. I have to tell EV that there's a render engine named after him. Layout. Okay. Modeling. Sculpting. Whoa. Okay. This is more. Oh, is this, this is kind of the POV, I think. Okay, well, let's move the camera up a bit, I think. And then go to sculpting. If I move, like, way up. No, that's not, that's not the POV of the camera. But it kind of is. Yeah, it's probably something like this. Like it's in this square here. Hmm. Oh, hello, Squidman. Look, it's Blender. <laughs> you wouldn't by any chance know how to use Blender, would you? <laughs> Look, I made a room. Yeah, so we've got ceiling, floor, walls, smart. I'm trying to figure out how to get the camera POV. I guess I could just like zoom in and kind of look through the camera's POV. It's kind of picturing everything in here, but 
That seems like a really janky way of doing it. Compositioning? This is for like animation and stuff. Oh, where's my mouse gone? Geometry nodes, scripting. Look, I just want to take like a screenshot. <laughs> you have zero idea that's more than I can do. I mean, this is just me mucking about. I haven't really looked at anything yet. I've got the I've got the manual here. We could look at the manual. It's the the Blender manual. But it wasn't very helpful. It was just kind of saying how to install it and stuff. And then I don't know what these are. I don't think I need to know about this stuff to do what I'm trying to do, which is just you know, make a make a scene almost. But yeah, Squidman, this is this is work for you. This is I'm gonna try and make a background for your thingy. I can say what it is, right, on stream. Because you've already announced it on your Discord server. But yeah, ignore the fact the walls are too high. I don't know how to... You won't be able to see that anyway, so... How do I add kind of textures to the wall? Why do I add textures in general? Right, let's go. let's go to the floor. Texture space. No. Geometry data. No. One of these things. Where's like textures? Ah, texture. Um, floor texture? Question mark? I don't know. Floor texture. I need add a new texture. Add a new texture. I don't want to add a new texture. I want to. I want to. Change the texture, image, settings. I already gave it out. Yeah. You're gonna go have, wait, I am going to let you have fun, no dying. You too, Squidman. I can't read apparently today. Hope you have a wonderful sleep. It's, it's almost your sleep time, I think. Although you're usually up for another couple of hours. What I've seen. But yes, no dying. No dying, Squidman. Uh then I wouldn't then I wouldn't be doing this for anyone if you died. <laughs> uh ooh, the the modeling thing makes it orange. Texture paint. Oh, yeah, maybe if I go to the texture panel, then I can texture it. Okay, so I can make it pink. Can I change? Interesting. Texture. Raw texture. Do I have to like go online and find textures? Add texture paint slot material. Um Let's look it up in the manual. Uh, it, uh, see, I didn't want. What is it? What is all this? 
Where is it getting these predetermined searches from? I mean, clearly there's something I've typed in before somewhere. Which is... Where? I don't know. Anyway. Texture. Put some in an incognito tab. You shouldn't be grabbing any of that stuff. Brick texture, brush settings. Is there not just a category called texture? How to add textures to things? Let's try attribute sample tag. Okay, you don't have to have it yellow. Oh, jeez. You do not have permission to access this resource. I'm sorry. What? I just refreshed the page and it's there. Anyway. The attribute sample texture node evaluates the texture for every point and stores the resulting colors in a new attribute. Probably would help if I knew what an attribute was, but we'll ignore that. <laughs> every point and stores the resulting Color in a new attribute, the mapping attribute can be anything that can be converted to 3D vector. Typically either the name of a UV map or the position attribute is used. Okay. How do I import a texture? Modifiers. Is there not just a chapter of this called texture? Volumes? Okay, sort this manual. How to import texture uh, into Blender. Blender. Not Blender. Here we go. Out of our textures. Get out of here with your cookies. What do you. I know what a texture is! <laughs> Just tell me how to import one. Before we apply any textures, we need to have two things a texture file saved on our computer and ready to use, an object to apply the texture to. Okay. We've got. Hang on, let's go back to layout here. We've got some things to apply textures to. I want to apply kind of a a wallpaper texture to the walls and then a floor texture to the floor and then maybe like just a white ceiling. Any image saved in a format that Blender supports is valid to be used as a texture. Okay. Step one, creating a new material. In order to apply a texture to an object, we first need to assign a material to it. To do so, follow the quick steps below. Select the default cube, or the floor in this case, with a left click. Go to Materials tab, displayed as a sphere icon located in the bottom right. Okay. Sphere. Ah, yeah, material. I think this is where I'm supposed to be. Okay. What next? Click new and rename the new material to whatever you want. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll call it test. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna call it floor texture I think I presume this is what it wants me to rename okay now what once you've assigned and renamed the material it's time to import a texture okay importing a te image texture with our cube and texture ready we can apply the image texture to the default cube with the following steps 
In the Materials tab, under Surface section, search for Base Color and click the small dot to its right. That's a lot to do in a very small sentence. Okay, go into the Materials tab. Not one of these. I don't think so. That's just that's just this, I think. The materials tab. Under the surface section. Surface, that's here. Okay, okay. Then search for base color. The small dots on its right. Base base color. On its right. Clicked it. It turned into a diamond. Is it supposed to turn into a diamond? From the many new options displayed, click on image texture. Okay. Uh. Oh. That's on the left. I thought you said the. They did say the right, didn't it? To its right. Which is that one. I'm going to presume it means this one. <laughs> and disable that one. Okay. I want... A wooden texture. Is there a environment texture? That. Okay. We're learning. We're learning, guys. Click open. Note that you could also create a texture from scratch in Blender by clicking new. A file explorer in Blender should have opened. Locate the texture file you want to import. Okay, we have to find some sort of texture on Google Images here, so what should I search for? I want just like a wooden floor floor texture here we go, something something like this <laughs> one with a big watermark on it 4000 by 4000, that's pretty good uh, I probably want something that's square shaped don't I? Okay, this one looks pretty good. It's quite low res. But let's save it. Um, in to. I don't know where to save this to. I don't really have a designated folder for Blender files. Let's make a new new folder, call it Blender. And then new file. We're gonna call it Bedroom. Okay. And then we're gonna have a textures folder here. And we'll save it and then call it wooden flooring. Cool. So we found a texture, we've saved it, now we can open it. Blender, bedroom, textures, wooden flooring. Okay. Where my where my camera went there. But we've imported a wooden floor texture. How do I see it? If I go to the sculpting? No. Rendering. How do I see what it looks like? Ah <gasps> Oh Okay. I think that's my texture. That's not really how I want the texture to look, though. 
Hello, Epi. How are you on this fine Saturday afternoon? Probably doing better than I am. Maybe I should stay in the shading thing to change the textures so I can see it update live. Floor! Yes, look, it's the floor! I'm trying to make it wooden, but currently it looks like a a spiraling vortex of doom into the abyss of the floor. Which does have a kind of cool effect, but it doesn't look like the wooden texture, and I think that's because it's just wrapping around the square. If we do cubic, no linear, was it? Closest cubic, smart, mirror ball, image sequence. Uh movie. That's just made it pink. Hello Jer. Welcome to Struggling with George. Let's go back to the tutorial I was following. See what they have to say. Because they just kinda imported it and it looks fine on <laughs> on what they imported it onto. I'm good, I'm currently the Driving to Niagara Falls and then back home. Thank God, I've been on the road for forever. Yeah, Niagara Falls—that's quite far away. I can imagine from civilization. So I'm sure it'll be worth it. Hello, George Wilkins. Everyone else, what am I doing? I am trying to make a bedroom. You can see so far I have a room with nothing in it. And at the moment I'm trying to figure out how to do textures. I want a wooden floor. You can see the the wooden texture I've chosen here. I want the floor to look like that. And so I've downloaded the image, put it in, but it currently looks like this. Which isn't what I want. So I'm gonna try and um, follow this tutorial. <laughs> I don't know what they... Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot more steps here, so... We're gonna try to see if I can figure it out. Okay, File Explorer, yeah, I've imported it. After importing the texture file, you might notice that the default cube still looks the same in order to change how the cube is displayed in the scene. Ah, enable texture view in the viewport. That would be helpful to have. Click one of the four spheres located at the top right of the viewport. This changes the way it displays the scene. Uh, one of these. Wait, let me go back to layout. Hey, look at that. Oh. Whoa, that one's like fully rendered out. I probably shouldn't do that while streaming because it's quite taxing. But there we go. We can see the, we can see it from underneath as well. Very nice. You see Squiddy was here. Yes, it's almost like this 3D blender work is for Squidman or something. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so Squidman is, so the idea is, or the reason I'm trying to learn how to use Blender, is Squidman, I'll, I'll just show you actually, where is, where's the link, um, let me find the link, there we go. If I open that, oh. this Squidman has released a. I well, don't really released it officially yet, but he has shared online this. Uh, let me bring back the chat here. You can see he's released kind of these lo-fi Splatoon vibes soundtrack, and so what this is. 
is well Splatoon Lo-Fi and you can see I've done I've commented a great job on these songs now I can edit Squidman videos while listening to Squidman music it's a dream come true it is definitely a dream come true um but yeah these these kind of songs here See my own live stream. Yeah, I could sit here listening to this all day. It's great. But what Squidman has assigned me to do is make kind of a a thing to look at for the kind of video versions of each of these songs. You can see there's 20 songs on here. And so, so far, I've come up with the idea of making a Splatoon apartment. Which is what this is going to be. So, <laughs> so I kind of wanted a, and let me, let me show you the, the, uh, the visualizer that I, whether I made. Where is it here? Audio visualizer, After Effects. Let me see if my computer can handle streaming and opening After Effects. I don't know if it can. But we're going to try. Because I want to show you guys the sort of thing I'm working on here. If it would load. It did. Oh, there we go. So you can see I have one of Squidman's tracks down here imported into the the uh, After Effects for testing. And when I press play, you will see this cool, funky looking visualizer. So yeah, my plan is to make a background to go behind this visualizer. So yeah, that's what I'm doing currently, and that's why I'm learning how to use Blender. <laughs> For those who, who wanted to know. But anyway, back to textures. Let me close this. Back to back to learning how to do textures here. Pick one of the four spheres. Yes, we did that. Step three: unwrapping an object. Okay, if you want to have more control over the appearance of the texture, you can tell Blender precisely how to map the texture to the faces of the object. This would also be the case if in the event that the texture doesn't display on the object even after setting the viewpoint of report to show the rendered textures. To do this you'll have to first unwrap your object. Unwrapping is essentially the process of turning the surface of a 3D object into a flat 2D plane. You can think of it as when constructing a cube out of paper, you first cut the, okay, yeah, we get it. How do I do it? There are several ways to unwrap objects in Blender. You'll quickly go through the three most common and efficient ones. UV editing, this is the simplest and easiest way to see the different objects unwrapping. Navigate to the top bar and select UV editing, your view will automatically switch to dual panes with the unwrapped object on one side and the objects in edit mode on the other. Second fastest way to unwrap an object is to viewpoint to edit mode. Select the object and press U on the keyboard. Select unwrap, which will be the first option to appear. Let's try this one. Change the viewpoint viewport to edit mode. I don't want After Effects. We can close that for now. Blender. Uh, 
What did it say to change the viewport to? Change viewport to edit mode. Um. Don't know how to do that, Chief. Uh, <laughs> let's try the other ones. Now we get to the top bar and select UV editing. UV editing. <gasps> oh. Okay, so that's why it's spreading it out everywhere. It's because it's, it's stretching out all of this. But I just want it to be a big square. <laughs> Can I can I do that? Select unwrap. Right. Your view will automatically switch the dual panels with the object on one side and the object in edit mode on the other. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. So How do I do anything? <laughs> Let's keep scrolling. Let's keep scrolling. Final touches. We're already on to final touches here, guys, apparently. Although mine looks nothing like anything at all. Make sure the object is away. Often the texture might not display in the object perfectly, especially if it wasn't made specifically for it. Well, uh, on the top, make sure the object is selected in edit mode. The top left, click the editor type box. Go to the, you're going to UV editor, select parts of the unwrapped object, or to move, press G on your keyboard to move them. G. Ah! <gasps> yo, can I just. If I go to the oh, can I just make it one big square? Oh, G. I just want the texture to be a square. Like this. I just can I just delete bits or not? <laughs> I don't think that's changed anything. It still looks like a Spiral. Hello, Evie. Oh yeah, I was gonna. Where's where's the the rendering thing? Look, there's a render engine called Evie. You're in you're in Blender, Evie. Look, I'm gonna render it using the Evie render engine. Hell yeah! I just thought that was funny. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm gonna undo whatever I've done because it's. Probably incorrect. Hmm. How do I do anything? Texture space. I don't want to texture the cube though, I want to texture the floor. Hmm. I'll just make a big old square. Okay, what am I undoing now then? Where'd those like square boxes go? 
Oh, I'm not sure. You are Blender. Yeah, Eevee's a Blender. Eevee is a Blender. Not a Pokemon, but a Blender. Not a human being. Blender. And not a Blender is in the software, but a Blender is in... Blender. No, it's you, Evie. Look, it's photos of you. I right? face reveal, face reveal, right there. I remember you posted a link to a video called Evie versus something, and you said that the title was funny. It had something to do with Blender. Oh, did it? I don't. Re I do remember posting that. Let's see if I can find it. It's probably just. It's in my videos or vids channel. I'm just scrolling up. Let me just search. In the vids channel, EV. Oh yeah, EV is unstoppable. That was the the name of the video. Can I bring it up here? To say that this is a game changer is a massive understatement. The difference between Cycles and Eevee has always been that Cycles is a ray tracing engine, meaning that light is actually bouncing around off geometry and interacting, and long story short, we- Wow, so interesting. You are, you are correct, Eevee. Are you constructing a room? I am. I'm trying to construct a bedroom. But I'm struggling. I think I'm going to come back to the texturing and just kind of leave the floor looking like this. You are unstoopable. Yes, Evie is unstoopable. Now, how do I make this room look more like a room? So, first we're going to put stuff in it. Um... I guess we could come up with a simple, let's, let's, let's bring out paint here. We're going to make like a little, a little floor plan here of what we want in our room. Thank you GeForce Experience for thinking that paint is a game apparently. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's see here. So. What things do you have in a bedroom? Well, first of all, you got to have a bed. So, looking at this room, and looking where the camera is going to be looking, I'd say we have the bed in the corner here. Eh? Eh? Do I have a bed? Actually, it's... What kind of shape is this room? It is kind of a... A square already. Let's put a little bed over here. We'll make it black. Just type bed. Very simple floor plan here. So we've got a bed. Your bedroom. That'd be really cool. I could make my bedroom, but my bedroom isn't very interesting, I would argue. <laughs> and it's quite messy at the moment. But yeah, I don't know. I could make my bedroom, but I feel like we want a bit of a bigger bedroom. So we've got a bed. And then I think Next to the bed, we're going to have a window somewhere. Do you think we should have a window, like, in this corner here? I think we should have a window, kind of, here, type thing. So here, we'll have... And window 
right there. Behind the bed. Um, still on that guy again. Uh, we've got a window here, and maybe another window here. Two windows. Let's see, big fancy rooms have two windows. Mine only has one window, so. Not very big or fat. Oh, do we want the window on this side? Kind of next to the bed and the bed here. I think I'd prefer that actually. So let's undo that. And we'll do the window on this side. You know what? We know there's going to be a window there. Let's just let's just do the floor panels of floor. What else do you have in a bedroom? Uh, a desk. I've got a desk in my bedroom. We could have a desk over here. We are kind of making my bedroom here because I've got my bed here and then my desk here. I've got my bed there and then my desk here. <laughs> So, desk. Are you even going to be able to see that with that view? I don't know. I think the door's going to be on this side. Maybe we can move the camera around a bit. Maybe we could have it like. Rotate. Oop, 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 oop. Kind of like that. So we have the desk here, the bed here. Something here. Um. The people typically have wardrobes next to their bed. Because I kind of want a wardrobe in it. I'm going to say so. There's going to be a wardrobe next to this person's bed. I mean, I have a chest of drawers next to my bed. So. Kind of similar. You know, both keep clothes in them. What would... That's wardrobe. No, it's not. <laughs> Can't type apparently today. And then I think that's pretty much going to be it for the thing. Are you making a game where you are stuck in your bedroom because you're grounded? Evie, this isn't this isn't a uh, this isn't a game engine. This is a this is an animation software, um, as by the title. I wish I could make games. I tried game development when I was younger. Around the time I tried to do 3D animation. But I don't know how to code. <laughs> Coding is not my strong suit, so. Yeah, not, not the best. <laughs> now, we need to make... This is very this is very weird how this texture is laid out, but anyway. I need to make let's try and make the bed first. Now first of all we're gonna look up Blender uh assets. You can see oh wait, let me do it in an incognito window so I can show you guys. Oh, right, we've already got Blender here. Blender assets. Because look, you can just get models. You know? So let's see if we can get some models. Models. And I want, see, look at these. These are all like high resolution, cool. We can have like a little armchair. I could be the chair for the desk, maybe, or we could just get the desk here. Little chest of drawers here. Okay. 
You can see I've already been on this website to search up Splatoon, but ignore that. I kind of want... Well, it is now. Oh, you heard it here first, folks. Blender is now a game engine. According to Eevee, one of the the rendering engines in it. They are, they are now identified as a game engine, no longer as an animation engine. Anyway, we want a bed. Ooh, do we want a bunk bed? Also to note that this is going to be kind of Splatoon themed because I'm doing it for Squidman. So the next Splatoon theme is going to be Chaos, isn't it? For Splatoon 3. So this would kind of fit in with that. But this doesn't look very comfortable to sleep on. Let's keep looking here. But this is this is probably the best option I got so far. I want a single bed. Um That one doesn't have a headboard. That's kind of weird. Um That one? I don't like how many pillows that has. <laughs> I mean, you could probably remove the pillows in the software. That's kind of effort. Let's look up bunk beds actually. Bunk beds. That's the first option there. These aren't bunk beds. Okay, well I guess we're going with this one. Get this model. Um Blender kit is pre-installed in Blender. Um, chaotic bunk bed, yeah. You, you could imagine like some Splatoon Inklings and Octolings laying on this. You know? Whole Blender kit database is online accessible directly in Blender. How do I access it from in Blender? File? Import external data edit no uh I don't know how to access it from within Blender. How does it? What does it say? I want free assets. Right, go to preferences and open add-ons. Okay. File. Wait, no. Edit. Preferences. Add-ons. Okay, okay. We'll get in there. A blender kit in the search box. Okay. Blender Kit Online Asset Library. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I ticked the box. <gasps> Yo, look at this. Okay, things are happening. What do I do next? Create an account and activate by pressing login directly to Blender Kit. This thing's a profile tab. Okay. Well, it seems to be working now. Is this just going to be here all the time? <laughs> I'd prefer if it wasn't. Okay, so you want me to sign up? Let me just register with Google real quick. I agree to the terms and conditions. Cool. I think I'm all logged in. Okay. 
let me bring up Twitch chat again. Or Twitch chat, YouTube chat again. Now. How do I search the library? If I like unlock the asset, unlock all assets. I already did this. I thought I. I logged in. Um, first of all, I don't want to save them there. <laughs> I want to save them onto my SSD in the Blender folder. And second of all, why can't I access these yet? Do I have to click install? Install an add on? No? Hmm. <laughs> Community. Yeah, I've enabled the. Oh, in progress login. I thought I logged in. Yeah, I'm. I'm logged in. Let's try looking in through the login and authorize. Oh, I think I'm logged in. Hi, Gorga Bean. Is that my new name? <laughs> Gorga Bean. Go -o Gabin. Go -o Gabin. Go -o Gabin. Unlock that asset. I don't understand. I don't understand. It just takes me to the same place again. I can't unlock it. Open the website in the web browser. To unlock all other assets, subscribe to full plan. Ah, oh, you have to pay six dollars a month. Oh, but there are some that aren't locked, right? Like this boat. Ah, <gasps> is it? Oh, it's under the floor. Yeah. Oh. Can I not move the boat? There we go. Look at a little boat. That's so cute. We could have that in the room. Surely. <laughs> I could have that on the desk. I'll delete it for now though. Oh, oh there's another one. D -d -d delete the boat. Oh no, what have you done? 
Rails. Okay, that was that was a bit annoying. How do I get that bed? <laughs> oh, I need the full plan. Ah. Oh, we can't use this one then. Okay, free blender assets. Now this is more up my alley. <laughs> Let's try looking at bunk bed. Forty dollars. I thought you said these were free. Uh, lowest in price first. Um, hmm. Is that it? <laughs> that it for bunk beds? Not very many. A pretty cool bunk bed. Oh, well, this picture is next to it. <laughs> okay, well, let's just try bed instead. Okay. Free. Lowest price. Um, we could try and make our own bed. It's just this would be a bit easier if there was already a bed that I could use. This is already a room I could use. <laughs> Morning, Georg. What you doing? Attempting to use Blender, Leafy. That's what I'm doing. I'm currently looking for assets. Yeah, that's a bed. That looks like a bed, doesn't it? <laughs> How are you th this fine... Well, I guess it's probably morning for you, Leafy, isn't it? How do you pronounce Gorgi? I presume like that. You've got... Wait, let me, let me do pop out chat so I can actually see chat a bit better. Gorgi. Or Georgi. 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 I'd say it's Georgi. Because you've got Georg or Georg. If you take out a few letters. Ooh, fun stuff. Pretty good here. Just early. Ah, I see. Well, feel free to go back to bed if you... But speaking of beds... <laughs> feel free to go back into it. If the 3D models of beds are enticing you to... To sleep. Maybe it's a sign, Leafy. You've come into the stream as we're looking at beds. <laughs> I could just go for something simple like this. But I kind of want something like that bunk bed that we saw that's free. Uh Geo Geog G G I usually pronounce the G as a G sound. 
because it sounds funnier. Gyog. Gyog. I mean, if we go on Discord, you can see my many names on, um, if we just bring up Discord here, you can see there's Gyog, Gorg, Gong, Grog, Greg, and Gyorgi. So, that's how you pronounce all of them. Not the strange way Cora pronounced it on stream that one time. Um, it's Gyog. Because the, the story of Gyog is from Matt, my friend in real life who I've been friends with for years. He... Actually, let me just move Discord over here. He came up with a nickname for me. Um, or actually, years and years ago, we were coming up with Pokemon names for ourselves. Or if our if our names um, in Pokemon form. And so he came up with the name Gyogimon. And I can't remember what Matt's was. But he came up with Gyogimon. And then pretty much ever since that day, Matt has called me Gyogimon. Or in more recent years, shortened it to just Gyog. Which is why on my Discord server there is an emote that Matt made from about five years ago called Gyogimon. Because that's, that's where the name came from. And then other people started calling me Gyog because no one could spell my name. And since Matt was already calling me Gyog online, everyone kind of just took that as a, as a misspelling of my name. And rolled with it. And now everyone seems to call me Gyog. So thanks Matt and probably Darzapan for... In encouraging everyone in Koromoro streams to call me Gyog. Because now even I sometimes call myself Gyog. Which... I mean, it's a pretty funny name. It's, it's fun to say, Gyog. You know, I can see why it's stuck. <laughs> uh, I'm not seeing very many beds here that are very interesting. You know. I may just actually pay the six dollars <laughs> and get that other bed. Cause there were some good assets on that. Oh jeez, what is this? Why is there a coronavirus asset? Um Pine nicknamed you Georgie. But with an I because it sounds cute. Yeah, Georgie's quite a cute name. Georgie Porgie. Pudding and pie. Kiss the girls and made them cry. <laughs> I've never actually managed to put that to the test. I've never actually kissed. Hey, uh. A girl that wasn't in my family. Although I'd imagine my sister would probably also cry if I kissed her. She'd probably get pretty... Pretty, uh... Grossed out. <laughs> like, ew, leave me alone, cringe weird brother who doesn't shower very often. <laughs> um... Is that microwave? It's a the barbecue baking oven. That's not a bed. I'm looking for a bed. There's something that looks good. But would also look like it would fit into the world of Splatoon. You know? Because you've got all these modern ones. And it's like, hmm. Don't think that's such a good fit. That would be a good fit for a sofa in Splatoon. I'm going to download that. 
Don't you think? That would be a good a good Splatoon so far. I'm going to download that. I was preparing to download. It's like George, but with a in with an y dash r. Yeah, George, Georgie, Georgie, Porgy. So you want it to be pronounced Georgie? I I always just find it funny to pronounce things Georgie because. It's the more literal way of pronouncing George. <laughs> Georgi. Um, I'm going to download all of these. Oh. I have to log into this as well? Hang on. Uh, why do I have to log in to everything? Making so many new account. Oh, I have to do two step verification on this one as well. I'm surprised the last one didn't ask me to do that. Yes, that's me signing into my Google account. Leave me alone. Okay. We're back. Oh yeah, you mentioned this and that's where the role names for your server came from. The role names for my server I just made up on the spot, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I was just like, hmm, what are some funny funny mispronunciations of George I could have? What are they? I've, I've forgotten what they are. Roles. Here's all my server's roles. Yes, yeah, so you've got George Ling, Gorgler, Gyogimon, Grogster, and Gorgonator. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just it's just funny names I came up with. But yeah, Gyogimon. That was all that was all Matt. Several years ago. Right, can I download these now? No, I've already logged in. I've already done this. Come on. I have to wait. Go on, we've got people waiting to see these epic sofa in my Splatoon room. Maybe we could have the... In our little floor plan here, we could have a sofa. Here. Maybe a little coffee table here. That'd be good, right? Let's let's mark that out so I don't forget it. So far. And then we can have a little coffee table. Right about oh. Text tool. Table. There we go. Floor plan's coming along nicely. Wah! Wah indeed. I'd say the same thing, Evie. Right, can I download it now? Yes! It let me download it. I was just going to download all of these because I don't know which one is the right one. And then I want to move those to my new Blender folder. Blender modules. No, bedroom. And then I'm going to have like, uh, yeah, just models, pre made models. Just move those into there. Okay. The moment of truth. Can I do file import or oh, it's F FBX file. 
blender bedroom no i want bedroom models that one fbx files are not supported why <laughs> what's the other file a dot obj file dot obj did it work sofa Is it? Where is it? Ah, uh, it 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 doesn't. I don't think that worked. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you pronounce Gorgie the same way as you pronounce Georgie, but one of them is missing the ending e. Georgi is missing the ending E from George. If they pronounced the same, it would be George Georgie. Like that. But then Georgi doesn't have an ending e which i mean that's what that's what the ge is the ge makes the j sound so it's georgi <laughs> or georgi is called kara is my favorite role that is a good role good role to have is called Kara and is a ghost and president of America and then my role I like this new role this like new system there oh and it tells you how many people have the role that's so cool I didn't realize that you can see that there are nine people with he him pronouns there are 19 people, 9 people with she, her pronouns, and then 6 with they, them pronouns. You didn't realize how far behind you were in the stream. That's okay, EB. Is not a whooper. Ah, oh, do you want the role called is not a whooper? Create role is not a whooper. What color do you want your role to be, Evie? <laughs> uh, I'll wait for you to respond. While well, I try and figure out what the heck happened to this sofa. Maybe I could import textures for it. What kind of files have I downloaded here? There's a dot max file. I need to import that as well. It was me thinking you could just import the file and it would just work. No, no. Why would why would you think it would be that simple, George? Of course, it's not going to be that simple. Yeah, it doesn't have any textures. Lavender. Ooh. Oh, I didn't create it. it. Is not a whooper. It is. 
Okay, create new role. What is this? I've never done this. this is all new to me. What, what what happened to the old way of making them? Show up on their profile. Yeah. Select members. Not Whooper. There we go. Oh dear, oh. And I'll move that up to the other kind of meme rolls. You can tell the difference between moderator and that, I think. Although it's very similar to... Nah, it's not actually that similar to other ones. There you go. You got your own role, Evie. Not whooper. How wonderful. Anyways, back to Blender. I haven't really done anything. Um. How do I get the sofa in? Does it tell me on the website? So for metal elements. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, well, that's OBS. I don't want to bring up OBS. And I can't read chat. Jeez, uh, I've been going for an hour and a half and all I've done is... I found the sofa, guys! <laughs> My word, that's a big old sofa! <sighs> oh my gosh, no wonder I couldn't find it, it's massive. Oh, okay, maybe I need to make my room bigger then. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Or oh, I need to make the sofa smaller. How do I? How do I even go about downscaling this? Could I could bring it over here and then scale? Why is the thing all the way over here for it? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. There we go. Oh, I'm going to do that and move it across. There we go. And then rotate it. Ninety. No, no, I want to. Um, negative ninety. There we go. Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> Oh, oh, hey, oh, that's still. <laughs> that's still a bit too big. Hey, look, sofa in the room. <laughs> Hello. 
Right. Still needs to be a bit smaller, I think. We're gonna have a bed and a other thing in here. Scale is something I do struggle with in like art. So ignore the fact that this might be a bit, you know, a bit off. Just above the ground. There we go. And then move it across. Hey, we got a sofa. We got a sofa. We got it. It's a small ceiling, is it? I thought it was quite tall. Oh well, you're not gonna be able to see the ceiling anyway. We got a sofa. We got a sofa. Hi, Andrew Crossing. Look, we got a sofa. In my room. I don't know how to get textures onto it though. Maybe. Oh. In orange. Yo, we can have an orange sofa. No, I don't want an orange sofa. Oh, the floor te Oh, I can have the floor texture on it. That's pretty cool. I want the... No, I want it pink. <laughs> That's a weird texture. How do I make it the... <laughs> How do I make it the textures that came with it? I like import texture. Who needs textures? Me? I need textures. Because it doesn't look like the sofa in the photo. I want it to look like this. I'm guessing this is the texture file. Because this is what I have imported. And I'm guessing this is like a combination of the two, but this didn't work. Watching this while playing Stardew Valley because I'm. Bored on Animal Crossing. That is fair. I'm pretty bored of Animal Crossing too at this point. I sometimes come up with an idea of like, oh, I could decorate this. Oh, I could do that. And then I do it. And then I don't play it for another month. <laughs> so I get you, Andrew. I hope you're enjoying Stardew, though. That's. I need to play more of that. Wait. New material? No, I don't want to. I don't want to. I keep making new materials, and I've got like three materials here. They're all the same thing. I don't know how you delete them either. How do I like import texture? Object data properties. What if I just like try and drag and drop it in? I didn't do anything. I'll try and drag and drop it into the textures thing. I didn't do anything. Um, line art, use transparency. Custom properties. No. Surface. How do I import textures? What? Is it, is it this? Pretty funky looking. Um, so if we go back to file, import. It's a dot max file. Let's Google it. How to import dot max file Blender. Blend is Blender's na native format. To get models into Blender, use the interchange format such as obj. Or FBX. If you only have the .max file and no access to 3ds Max, 
then yes, there's no way to import it into Blender, just like there's no way to, okay, well that's, that's not very helpful, is it? Um, ah, under user preferences, you can activate more important export types. And uh, preferences. But where? <laughs> where can I add more of them? Input? No. Do they say in the funny Reddit thread? You can activate more input. Have everything ticked and there's no dot max. It's not. You can import the much, much older 3D Studio format. But importing dot max files isn't possible. The hell is the dot max file for then? Because <laughs> the the dot fbx. Let's try the dot fbx one again. Because that that didn't work last time. Despite the fact that it should have worked, or maybe I'm just being dumb and there's no textures for this. Like I have to change the textures myself. I I don't know. Is that is that expected of me to? I thought this may be the texture files, but I'm beginning to think that it's just the same as these. How do I enable the textures? I did say we'd worry about texture later, but. Having none is a bit worrying on something that should have textures, you know. Uh, no. Blanks. Uh. I keep making new textures and I don't know how to delete any of them. Oh dear, oh dear. This is the one it came with. Wire, whatever. Um. I'm just gonna leave it on the black sofa for now because that kind of looks like leather. And that kind of looks okay enough, even though we'll, we'll get we'll, we'll get to we'll find out what's causing the the colors to mess up later. Hmm. We're still looking for a bed, though. That's the main thing we came here for: is to look for a bed. We haven't found a bed. We found a sofa. What is this? <laughs> maybe we, maybe we'll, we'll put bed on the table. I want to find a coffee table for free. Um, something that you'd find in like a dorm room for a coffee table. Something like, um, preferably a square table, not a, although these kind of look good, they're kind of simple, effective, I'm going to take this one, download, I don't know why you have to wait 20 seconds for it to give you the link to download it. It's interesting, I guess. Not seen any other website like that before. Um, okay, dot max doesn't work, so we're going to download the obj file. Because we know those work. Okay, file, import, 
Hobbs. Coffee table. What? It's giant again. <laughs> At least this one's centered to the point in the middle. Again, no textures. I'm gonna rename it to coffee table just for simplicity. Then we can scale it down. Oh. There we go. And move it over here. Preferably not through the floor or through the sofa. Rotate it. Ninety degrees. There we go. Now we have a nice little coffee table. I'm going to make it smaller though. Like that. Yeah, look at the coffee table. Is it centered? I can't tell. I'm going to assume that it's centered. Say, so, hey, look, coffee table. Pretty cool, pretty cool if you ask me. Now, let's look for a wardrobe. Kind of looking for a single standing wardrobe, not one of these big fancy ones. I want to. I don't want something that you can open as well because I want to be able to see the clothes inside of the wardrobe. Um, and again, something that would fit in to the Splatoon world. I, do they have like Splatoon furniture? No, there's not really any Splatoon furniture in the game. Although there was Splatoon furniture in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Which I didn't know about. Maybe they'll do that again for when Splatoon 3 launches. That would be quite nice. Yeah, no, I don't want to open it. Um... Yeah, it doesn't seem to be any sort of theme to the furniture in Splatoon. So let's try just like a, a wooden. Next page, please. No. I want to take me to the next page. Please verify you are a real person to continue browsing. Cool, cool. Take me to the next page. Thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, no. Come on, these aren't very good wardrobes. I mean, that one's incredibly detailed, but that's not really what I'm after. That's a chest of drawers, that's not a wardrobe. I did see one near the stars that I kind of liked, but wasn't sure about this one. It looks a bit too artificial, I feel. 
This kind of looks like something you'd find in Splatoon. I think. I don't know. Um, we got a filing cabinet. There's a lot of cabinets, a lot of like chest of drawers and stuff, but I'm not looking for a chest of drawers. I'm looking for a wardrobe. Hence why I searched for a wardrobe. Yeah, these... These don't look the best. But they are free. So... What's this one? Oh, it's a corner wardrobe. I don't really want a corner wardrobe. Is the bed's going to go in the corner. <laughs> um, these are all just cabinets. Okay, well, let's, let's try a different website. Blender S. I've already got to open another tab. Free blend models. Wardrobe. <laughs> I would not pay twenty two dollars for that. <laughs> Here we go, something like this. Just a simple wooden wardrobe. I'm going to download that one. Okay. Okay, let me extract that. To the asset folder. Okay. Is it has it gone over there? Wardrobe dot blend. Let's go. File import. It is an FBX file. Hopefully this one will work. Wardrobe! Hey! And it's right sized as well. Look at that. The size I wanted. And it's textured! Let's go. I might change the texture of this though. It's a bit. You can't really see much detail in it, but. It's textured! Nothing else has been textured so far. So it's not me going insane and thinking they should already be textured. So why is the thing for it all the way up here? I do not know, but at the same time, I do not care. Because we have wardrobe. Oh dear. Why is it? What is what is it doing here? I have no idea. I just went ninety degrees. I think that's close enough. Ninety degrees. That's not straight. That's gonna bug me. Um if 
Why is the table still selected? Oh, there we go. Now it's doing it. It's still not straight though. Which thing go? This one. There we go. Now it's flat up against the wall. Let's go. Look at that. Wardrobe in the room next to a sofa. Bada bing. Bada boom. Then I need to change the sofa texture to be correct at some point. I'll probably do that off stream. Anyway, I still haven't found a bed yet. So let's look on this website for a bed. See if there's a better one. A hospital bed. I guess bedside table makes sense to show up. What if I do single bed? There are, n there are no single beds. Well, that's worrying. Because <laughs> I kind of wanted a single bed. Like this. Yeah, it's got like the scrunched up bed sheets and stuff. Oh, that's good. I'm going to download that one. Cool, cool, cool. Drag that in here. Extract here. Then file import. Is it an FBX file? Ah, uh, no. Yes. There's the three different states it can be in. So I want, I think it's a ob object file. That one? Oh dear, what happened to my mouse cursor? Did you see that? I changed to like 666 or something. It's a cursed bed. Hey, there we go. We have the bed, the cursed bed. It's a little bit small. So we'll scale it up a bit. Like so. And put it right up against the wall. Right in the corner. I think it's floating a bit, yeah. Kind of a floating bed. Go through the floor a bit. And there we go. Bed. Now I'm gonna take the wardrobe. Oh jeez, there's so many different assets to it. Can I like Group these together or something. That would be helpful. The wardrobe is just called cube. Or maybe actually if I have that. Over here. Then we can have a little bedside table next to it as well. It's not clipping through the wall. I don't think. The room's coming along nicely. It's beginning to look a lot like a room. 
Which is good, because that was the intention of making a room. Um, okay. Bedside. It was this one. Let's try the other website. The other website I did see some on. Bedside. Free. Lower price. What what was best match? You seem to be pretty good. I don't know that would go well with the with the table that we already have. Ignore the fact it's missing its textures, it should be wood on top. Um also to know I'm not an interior designer, so forgive my terrible excuse for a room decor that I'm doing right now. It will hopefully look better in the future. This one's pretty simple looking. I just don't think it looks very good. Um, that's a pretty funky looking chest of drawers. That looks mildly annoying to use, having everything slide over to one side. Um, that just looks like a photo, to be honest with you. Hmm. I think I prefer the ones on the first page over here. Something like this one. Maybe. Or this one. That one's pretty cool looking. But. Uh. If I could replace those glasses with like Splatoon glasses, and it's not all just one piece. I download that, and then we also need to look for a desk. Let's try this at the website. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um. Just a, a relatively small, simple desk. Got a desk lamp as well. Um, not many actual desks though. Go the whole hog and get a computer with a chair. Have you finished? Yep. Oh, there's a README. Well, that's helpful. I'll download the README. What does the README say? How to import GLTF in Blender. File, import, GLTF 2.0, select the file. Click import. Okay. Seems simple enough. Seems like most of the other things I've imported. Blender file import that one and said it wanted. The wooden table. It's giant <laughs> and partly see through. 
which is odd. Alright, let's scale that right down. Right down. Cool. I don't know why it's partly see through though. Does it appear like that in the full render? It does. Yeah, there's just like no door or draw to it. It's very odd. Jeez, I've been streaming for two hours already. I think I'm just gonna put in place. This little, I'll make it bigger. Like that. That's to the bed. I think. Oh, and we've got the light on as well. With the full camera view. I think I'm going to leave the stream there for now. Thank you all for coming along with me as I learn how to use Blender. This is the first time I've ever used Blender. I'd say I didn't do too bad. Given I've made this in two hours and textures and this floor is still messed up, but I'd say not too bad. You know, I'm going to save this file, save as in the save as bedroom. So thank you all for watching, coming to the stream. I hope you all found this somewhat interesting. I know it's not the most interesting thing in the world. Watching me mess about in Blender. But thank you all for coming nonetheless. And I will see you all tomorrow on Twitch. Where I will be playing some video games that I haven't decided yet. So that's it from me. Bye bye.